this is Dal Stone here, and today we're gonna do um, my Maya top five hotkeys that now I have uh, custom put in. Right, these are not default. You have to kind of put these yourselves. And um, I just want to first say that most of this stuff is already kind of in Maya, right? Uh, it's in the menus. If you want to go through the menus, you can add them into your shelf if you'd like, right? But this is just something that, you know, when, if you can find ways to save clicks and seconds um, from just doing, assigning things to hotkeys, it definitely helps out, right? So, uh, so yeah, so I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. Um, so the first one I'm gonna share with you is um, center pivot. Okay, this is my number five, is center pivot. So I'll give you guys an example here. Um, let's say I have this door or so this is just a random scene that I have um, and I just want to center pivot it I have it assigned to alt Z or alt C sorry alt C is my so let me just undo that alt C is my center pivot okay so sometimes you'll find that you need to figure out or you need to center pivot something um, I just quickly alt C everything and it just goes right into center pivot right so alt C is my uh, is my number five number four is freeze transforms so trees do you guys see all these like um, transformations here on the attribute editor so for me I just go alt Z Z freeze Z so that number these are just my hotkeys you can change to whatever you want um, and so yeah, for me, this is just me going in and freezing transformations because in Maya, you want to keep your scene as clean as possible. And I tend to use this hockey quite a bit. Um, again, I'll go through this through, through the menus with you as well uh, on how to set the hotkeys and stuff like that. But I just kind of wanted to go through the list first. Um, delete history. So sometimes you'll you'll have a bunch of history on things. So I'm just going to quickly um, you know add some history on here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, edge loop that ring or something, or uh, I don't know. Let's just split this up a few times. So now this has some history in it, right? Um, let's just make an extrude or something. Uh, extrude faces, right? So now we just have all this kind of history. I have Alt D. I think you guys are starting to see kind of a. Um, a pattern here. I like using the Alt key quite a bit because I don't. I'm trying not to leave my right hand off my mouse, and I'm trying to keep my left hand mostly to the left side of the of the keyboard, right? So that way, it's easy for me to maneuver around. I can kind of reach over all the keys, and I try and keep all of my keys within the H. Nothing past the H, Y, and B, and six. So I try and keep it all in there. Obviously, if you guys have, you know longer fingers or whatever longer hands I have very short fingers you can reach the whole keyboard but for me I like to keep everything kind of in hands reach um, so yeah so that's my delete history um, now this is something different it's um, selecting UV shells selecting UV shells so for me to illustrate this I'm gonna have to load up uh, UV deluxe if it yeah, there we go. So you would deluxe. So let's say I let's uh, get some borders going on here. I'm gonna cut some of these up quickly. Right. So now let's say I want to select. I want to figure out what this what this shell is. Right. So I just literally select one of the UVs. Usually you go. Um, oh, sorry. Hold on. Usually I go UV. And then I'll go to I'll right click and I go to shell, right? UV uh, two shell or two shell, right? Usually that's what you do. But for me now I have this hockey go alt alt s, right? And so now I know that it's going to select those faces, right? Now I'm gonna do that again. See, so now I can just select on this region, Alt S, and it'll select the whole UV, the whole UV shell, right? Very handy for when you have things kind of cut like this, um, and then I go cut. Now I can just, right, and then now I have this side. 
Um, it's really annoying to have, let's see here, where's my UVs? Let's go panels, this might be easier if I go layouts, save layouts, maybe UV texture editor. It's a little bit easier. And then let's say I want to go and let's just cut these. That's inside polygon, by the way, you don't want those. Uh, but for this purpose, don't worry about it. I'm just going to cut that. And let's say you just want to select that shell, right? So UV shell selection or UV shell, select UV shell. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, so uh, you see how all this like history in the right here, all the done. Okay. Um, and now last but not least, this is definitely like one of my favorites. My favorite is um, isolate select view or isolate selected. So if I want to just look at this, these faces. So you guys notice that like you can hide everything, right? And just, you know, you can literally select everything and then just hide, right? And like unselect it and just hide it. Oh yeah, I want to focus on this, right? So you can do that. Um, uh, hold on. But I find that the isolate selection, which is literally, where is it? I think it's this one, isolate select. No, that's wireframe. Isolate select, this one. So I just hotkey it, Alt F, right? Because F is just to focus on something. So I figured Alt F is to isolate it and then select it. So yeah, those are my top five um, Maya shortcut hotkeys. Um, so this is Maya 2015, so it's quite different compared to 2016. 2016 has a way better hockey editor. It has like a keyboard and everything, right? So f let's go with the first one. The first one I believe was, hold on, I have my, my notes here, was my f center pivot, uh, which is in the, the modify section. So if you just go to modify here and you go to center pivot, you can see that I have alt C and I assigned it. Uh, and this is, again, this is for environment modeling. It's mostly from environment modeling uh, because this does override some hotkeys that are default. Um, I just don't use um, some of the tools that I'm overriding, so uh, it's safe for me to override them. Uh, freeze transforms is also in modify, which is number four. Delete history is in edit and delete all history. Um, if you do a lot of animations and stuff like that, you obviously don't want to delete all history. You want to delete all non-linear deformers, okay? So, so that's the one that, that you'd want. Um, what else is there? And then select UV shells. Now select UV shells, UV texture editor, select UV shells, okay? So UV texture editor, select UV shells, that's the Alt S. And then for um, the last one, which is isolate selected. So I found the, the um, where I put this hotkey. So it looks like in 2015, I had to create my own hotkey. So I went to new, I named it, gave it a description, put it into categories user. This is the script right here inside the command. It's definitely my top hotkey that I use every single time when I'm modeling. Uh, constantly focusing on just certain small aspects of the model and not having other things in the way. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Dallas underscore Done and uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video, comments, uh, all that. Thank you so much. See you guys again next time.